Hi, I'm David Cantera here at the Ken Island Yacht Club for the 2019 By Boat Association Rendezvous. The By Boat Association started in 2004 with a gathering in Rock Hall, Maryland, where boats from the Southern Bay came up and uh, the northern part of the bay. We all got to meet each other and uh, took a liking to each other and the boats getting together. And we've continued this tradition uh, since that time. So I'm Ted Parrish of Nellie Crockett, 19, built in 1925, the Chesapeake Bay by boat. And she is a National Historic Landmark. And welcome aboard. There's feelings that there was somewhere between 4,500 and 5,000 boats built during their heyday. Maybe 30 are surviving, of which 20 are actually operational. There's a handful of museums that have them, and they don't go very far. 1989, I got her out of Deltaville, Virginia, out of the Ward family estate. Over the last 20, well, over about 23 year period, rebuilt the whole boat for the most Everything as you see on the boat, which I think is important. This boat, this is the, from the pictures I have in the 40s of World War II or thereabouts, and they're a little tough to, to date them. It's from the dock, exactly the same. Everything that I can restore has been restored. The doors are probably from the 50s. I, I think the appeal is, in my case, the appeal was I wanted to live on a boat and I couldn't afford a fancy yacht. And I grew up in a boat yard and had the capability to take care of the boat. Experience suggests that I had no idea what I was getting into on main summer. I take a two or three week vacation and plan out materials and take a chainsaw to it. But it took me 23 and a half years. My wife and I and the family, the boys were raised with the boat along with Muriel Eileen. Uh, David got her a year after I got Nellie. That brought our relationship together. Our children were born up around the boats, all these little boats running around, and our children, we terrorized. We'd work on the boats, and then we'd go down the bay, and we'd terrorize the bay with these kids in these boats and had an absolute ball. And since then, it just took on its own, it really took on its own character. We're aboard the Chesapeake Bay by boat, Muriel Eileen, and this vessel was built in 1926 off the in Gloucester County, Virginia in what they call the Guinea Marsh in Bina, Virginia by J.W. Smith, also known as Big Jim Smith. The boat was in the Ward's fleet from 1944 to 1981 and at that point it was sold to a local friend of theirs who took out some fishing parties and used it for pleasure. Uh, I bought the boat in 1991 when I was 23 years old, and although that may seem a little crazy, uh, I, I do get this wooden boat uh, interest, uh, honestly, from being around larger wooden boats that my father had had uh, in the upper uh, Chesapeake Bay. So we've pressed on with it, and uh, now it's a family vessel that uh, my three kids and my wife and I use uh, extensively throughout the bay. and. Uh, we, we haul the kids small wooden skiffs with us, uh, boats that we built together, and uh, it's just a real part of the I'm Scott Bissett. Uh, this is our boat, the Ivy W. She's uh, 90 years old this year, built in 1929. We picked her up about eight years ago and started the renovations. Uh, as you can see, she's a little different. She's a double decker where most of the fleet is the way they were when they were working in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. But uh, our kids and family love her the way she is, and she's now a family boat versus a working boat. Uh, we're fortunate to have her. We'd love to keep her until she's 100 years old, and uh, my children still to them. And, uh, we like to think she's not aging, she's evolving with the times. So uh, a little different, but a, a family boat, and not a work boat any longer. Okay, my name is Bill Mullis, and uh, I grew up on Gwens Island in Matthews County. This boat was built in, uh, Lindy built in Pepper Creek in Matthews County, which is on the west side of New Point in Mob Jack Bay. When I grew up in the county, you know, the bay was a little different than it is. These by boats were 
used as freighters, working on oyster grind. My first boat that I had was named Auto. It was a by boat, about a 55 footer. And I bought her when I was 19 years old and crab dredged in Chesapeake Bay out of New Point, Virginia, Davis Creek. It was one of the last two young guys that I know of in Virginia to actually buy a by boat to go to work as a waterman. So my life kind of started on by boats. I'm Andy Newman, and this is the by boat SEL. And she is actually the baby of the fleet. She's only 30 years old, but she was built by the last of the old by boat builders, Edgar Jenkins, down in the northern neck of Virginia and Guinea. She's done with all traditional methods, and uh, it was really the last by boat built by an old. She's a good boat. Name's Carrie Hall, live in Matthews, Virginia, with the Matthews. And uh, we own this boat. The Ma it was a donation to the Maritime Foundation. The Peggy, 55 foot, built in 1925. And uh, when it was donated to the Maritime Foundation, it was in a real, very much in disrepair. And we that was 2008, I believe. And the restoration has been going on ever since piece by piece. Every year we do a little more. And uh, beautiful boat, love the boat. It's all volunteer work. She's been in Matthews all my life. I'm a commercial waterman, still working. Started work on this particular boat when I was 15 years old. And off and on all my life I worked on it. The man that owned it was a very dear friend of our family. And uh, started working with him on Saturdays in the wintertime when I and it's been going on ever since. Original owner's request was if they ever got rid of it or didn't want it anymore, it was to be donated back to Matthews, which we all greatly appreciate. It. And it's a, it's, it's a nice boat. It's not fancy like these others. That you, you know, it's, it's not privately owned. It's restored back to the, its working condition when it was a, a working, working boat every day. And it's, it's a lot of love and a lot of work involved in keeping the old boat up. It really is. What drew me to have the interest in owning a wooden boat uh, with Chesapeake Maritime history was growing up aboard my dad's 55-foot Trumpy uh, motor yacht, which was built in Annapolis, Maryland in 1950. Uh, I really grew up with an appreciation of wooden boats and history and uh, this old buy boat really fit that bill for me. It's a really cool boat to go cruising on. Everybody comes down, no matter where you go, people come down and ask, what is it? Well, so this is our fourth year on this tour and we just love it. Buddy here, Mr. Bob Gamish and I go every year and I enjoy the company, the people, the wonderful people as you all, have, I'm sure you know by now. And, uh, we love it, just enjoy it so much. And we go around and see different people in different parts of the bay, just like you young young people today. Very interesting, it's nice. But when I ride around on the boat, I knew the history, and, I, and it was us. And you know, I knew what it was like to go down the bay and uh, hit a hot lick of crabs and catch 25 barrels of crabs in 45 minutes on one of these boats. And the special feeling, you know, to take that to the dock and be one of the first guys in the dock and be a highliner. So we used to really pride ourselves. It was very competitive back then. And and uh, so, you know, my experience with the boat than most people because it's a little more entrenched in me. So I know it feels different. It has to. That's really the purpose of the Bible Association. Uh, it's a pretty loose group, but is focused on these boats and, and keeping their history alive. Uh, where the boats hauled cargo uh, to and from various places today, the is families and, and friends. Don't miss another Prop Talk video. Subscribe to our channel today.